you can hear me, I've got the blower running behind me. I am delivery poultry litter to David City, Nebraska. I picked this up from Walgreens, Ohio. Uh, I guess it was last Friday morning. And I know center got loaded and my depth level sensor went out. So I went eight miles down the road to Kenworth. The truck went to the shop, didn't get it back out until yesterday morning. So I'm out here today, it's Thursday morning, the next week delivering. But I'll show you, I am literally standing in a dirt road, almost like Tom Hanks and Castaway, in the middle of cornfields, in the middle of nowhere, in Nebraska, delivering into that little silo right there. And we do this commonly uh, with Oakley out of Walbridge, Ohio. We bring the poultry litter out and then they'll have, whoever they are, has trucks that'll come in and they'll unload out of a bottom chute here, a drop chute, and go wherever they need to go to take the poultry litter to where. But I'm currently unloading. I've got tank number four done. I'm on tank number one now. I go four and then one, two, three. That's the order that I unload in. And we're getting it knocked out. Uh, kind of muddy back up in there, but out here it's not too awful bad so the truck won't get super trashed. But we're making it happen. Walk back and show you guys. I'm using their line, which is great. We run at eight PSI here, and I'm right on eight, so everything there is good, pressures, etc. But on the back side, we've got the little farm off to the right. Nebraska flag, I'm assuming, and the American flag, and then the fields out in the distance. Way out there, you can't see it, but it looks like there's a cemetery out there. But there's some old grave sites there, but these are these little poultry litter pits, as they call them. And yeah, we're just shoving uh, just shy of 47,000 pounds of poultry litter up in there. And uh, hopefully there's room for it. I would imagine there is. And we'll get done and <coughs> give Mr. Jerry a call and see what he has next for us, for me. And I got to tell you, too, I'm very impressed with Jerry. Uh, doing a phenomenal job. I had Kyle and end up. Kyle did great, magnificent. And Jerry has certainly given Kyle a run for his money. Uh, Kyle was older than Jerry, more seasoned in regard to his age and time at Oakley. Uh, Jerry is probably half the age of Kyle, but for a young man doing an absolutely phenomenal job, and I appreciate what he does for me and my family in regard to his dispatches and what he provides us, and I'm not saying this to Brown knows him in any way, because I can assure you if something was wrong, him and I would be having a conversation rather directly uh, professionally, of course, but rather directly, but it's few and far between we have to have those conversations. And I would expect the same if I did something wrong. So, uh, can't say enough about the job that Oakley is doing for me and my family. I uh, very much so enjoy being an owner-operator here. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, hit me up. Jimmy's Road Life, L-Y-F-E at gmail.com. Be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'd ask you to contact me first if you're interested in coming to Oakley. If you contact them first, I don't get credit for it for any kind of a referral. So I would appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would ask you to please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the bell notification. I haven't put out as many videos lately, but I need to get back into it. That blunt, I've kind of been a slacker, I'm not going to lie. And uh, I've been focusing on just the job and some things at home. And videos are time consuming, and I just really haven't uh, taken the time to do as many, but I need to get busy and get them done, because I enjoy doing them. So we're gonna get back at it. And I figure what a better one to start with than a muddy poultry litter silo. Catch you guys in a little while, enjoy, be safe out there. God bless, bye-bye.